Hey guys, welcome back. So in today's video, we are going to start a very important uh, section of uh, Linux uh, shell scripting, uh, which is called flow control. So in flow control, we'll be covering uh, things like if else, for loop, while loop, and case statements, right? So this is a, this is like the core section of uh, shell scripting. So it's very important. So in today's video, I'm going to cover if else. Uh, I'll be talking about uh, exit status, and then we'll probably write a small script to see how if else works, right? So if else is uh, nothing, it's the conditional. So it just checks for a condition. And if the condition is true, then it, you can execute some code. And if the condition is false, which goes into the else section, and you can execute some part of code, right? So <clears throat> a very quick example, if you see, so if I'll say, if I can CD into home, right? So then, so if then else, basically that's how the uh, syntax work, right? So you don't actually have to pay a lot of uh, uh, attention to syntax. You can easily find syntax on Google. So, but the thing you want to grasp is the concept, right? So if uh, I can CD home, then I can echo uh, something like uh, I am at dollar home. So dollar home is uh, a built-in variable, right? Already defined and then in order to basically, I can write an else statement, which I can say echo unable to reach dollar home, although this uh, statement would never get executed unless we do something uh, uh, unknowingly or knowingly wrong, right? So yeah, unable to, and then you just close the if block with just the opposite of if, which is five, and that's pretty much it. And you can see it echoed out that I'm at root, which is the home, because the if condition, which we gave it over here, uh, it was truthy. So it was not falsy, it was truthy. So that's why we went into this block and we echoed at uh, I'm at home, right? So next thing uh, I want to quickly talk about is exit status. So every command uh, which you run in Linux, right? It uh, basically, if you if I talk about the details of exit status, uh, the system calls which they make. So there is a system call uh, called wait pid, right? And the wait pid returns a numeric uh, code, which is basically the exit status of every command, right? So when a command returns a zero, exit status that means the command was successful and anything between 1 to 255 means there was some error right so quickly and uh, I'll, I'll show you how you can see the exit status so if i run a command say pwd right and then i echo dollar question mark so basically in order to get uh, the exit status of the last command which you ran you you can get it using dollar question mark you can see the exit status was zero right and if i do something like uh, CD nothing, which I don't have a directory called nothing, right? So I get an error that no such file or directory. And now if I do echo dollar question mark, I get one. So this is what basically uh, exit status is, but it is very helpful when you are doing conditionals in your shell script, right? So it's, it's very useful. And let's go on to write a shell script and see by example how we can use uh, uh, and then in the shell script also i'll show you some uh, some things which we can do like check if the value is null or not right and stuff like that we can we, I'll, I'll show you in the when we'll when i'll write the script so let's quickly open a file conditional dot sh and the first thing shebang and bin bash and this script I'm actually going to do a very basic thing like this is going to basically create a directory if the directory does not exist right so I'm going to make use of positional parameters I'm going to pass uh, directory name to the script and the script should create that directory so let's call the name and assign it to dollar one right so dollar one is the first positional parameter and then we can do so the first thing 
let's do a basic uh, operation first so if and this this is the new uh, so the syntax i'm using is the new syntax uh, of using if uh, you can go into man bash and look for if syntax so you will find this one and there was an old syntax with a single uh, square bracket as well but now it's not being used right so let's do make dir oh, sorry what am i doing and in the next command i'm actually going to do make dir uh, header name right and in fact i like using the curly brace notation header uh, name i like doing that which it's a lot cleaner so that's uh, done then in the next step i can say something like uh, if dollar question mark was equal so this is how you do equal operation to zero right then we can echo something like uh, directory created created uh, else we'll go into the else block and we can echo unable to create directory and we can close the if block and I'll just do some redirections uh, over here basically I'll redirect standard error to dev null so that we don't see uh, ugly errors on on the output right and we just want to see the unable to create directory error uh, i have a full video on the file descriptors which i've just used so you can go and check that out if you if you're not aware what what i just did over there so let's quickly save this and give it execute permission conditional.sh and that's pretty much it so let's run conditional.sh and I would give test dir and directory created and if I do ls hyphen l you can see test dir was created I'll clear the screen and I'll run this again the script you can see it says unable to create directory because test dir already exists right so this is fine but what happens when we don't give it any you can see it, it is again printing unable to create directory right so that's what we want to update in this script so let's go inside conditional.sh and now what we can do over here instead of doing this we can open if block and we can check if uh, whether the user has provided uh, the directory name or not right so for that i would use hyphen n this basically checks if uh, the value is null or not right so if hyphen n uh, dollar dollar name right so if this is not null then then I want to do make dir right make dir and dollar turn name right and I can bring this thing here then we can do our check over here just take me else right and <clears throat> we need to bring this file over here and the last statement basically not the last so the else for the top if what we can do is 
else we can echo usage of the script which is dollar zero and other name type and then we can just close the top five or top if so what we did over here is that we are checking if the name is null or not empty or not basically and if it is not empty you do make dir you create the directory basically and then you check for the exit status of the command and if it was successful just say directory created else just echo out that unable to create directory and if no value was provided to the script just echo out the usage right let's save this uh, let's get rid of our test directory clear the screen and let's run conditional.sh so you can see we got directly created and now let's run it without and you can see it echoed out that uh, the usage of the script all right so that's pretty much it for this video that's all all i wanted to cover in this video in the next video we'll be going over the for loop uh, which is very important uh, another important uh, flow control statement in linux shell scripting so yeah that would be covering in the next video uh, please do follow, well, not follow, please do subscribe to the channel before leaving. Uh, that would actually help me uh, or encourage me to make these videos a lot more, right? And that's pretty much it from me. Uh, signing off for this video. Thank you for watching.